אוקיי. See if I hear me and see me. Okay. That's nice. Now see if I, people can hear me also. That would be really nice. So, because I can't hear myself. That would okay, be really nice. I hear myself. That's great. Hallå Annika. Hallå, hallå. Så då ser jag chatten och så ser jag här. Hello, hello. Nice to see people are joining and I give a little bit time to people to join. I'm Katja from Sweden and you're so welcome to me uh, the this stream and if you hear me please say hello and let me know from what country you are from. I'm Katja and I'm living in Sweden and I'm one of Finnabär's designers. So you're so welcome. I see people joining, but I know it's a delay. And what will I do? I will recite some uh, hello and Jeska. Hello. Uh, I will uh, use my old Christmas baubles like these to make them new and that thank you Anjeska that you tell me that you hear me. I have these old baubles, they are red, beautiful of course. Hello Maria, so welcome people joining. And I will do and it sounds perhaps awful and, and you are some people are afraid when I said I will do black bubbles, yes. But I have put my bubbles in uh, one like this and put some light in it. And we would do some, but I, uh, so I, perhaps you don't have a Christmas tree or do you don't, but you can do these bubbles and to have them like in a jar like this. Uh, because you like to create and to show your things and in a glass jar like this is perfect. Uh, I, I will come so. Hello Annika. Hello Annika. Jag svarar dig strax Annika. Okay. And so I have here and we I will show you soon what we would do. But this is one way to keep your bob bubbles and I can choose if I will have a Christmas tree. I will I keep the strings like that. So I think we will do some of the bubbles. So nice to see people joining. So let's start. And I will turn the camera around. And yes, I need to turn off the lights. So I will have light later on when perhaps I will add new bubbles in the box. So hello people, nice to join. And uh, please, if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, I will answer them. Now you see my table instead. So I'm ready. That's nice. And I want to see the chat on the computer also like that. So I'm prepped. I have prepared, but to show you what I have done, I have prepared with some molds and you can do them white. Here I have one of smaller size of the molds like that. Oh no, the uh, baubles. And I have used the white. And to show, I have done like a very simple composition. Hello Alexandra, nice to see you. And uh, all around it. And you see I have done the same here. Perhaps you don't want to have like a Christmas look. And this is not a bubble. Yeah, so it's small bubbles and you can display them. That's why I have the big ones because I want to, to so you can see them better. But this is not like a bubble. It's a wooden heart. 
And I have e also like a stone heart. It's made of stone and you can paint it. I will keep that for later. But this is a wooden heart and it's like that and I have prep it. And I will tell you what I have done with it. So wooden heart and one bauble with the molds. And to show you what kind of molds I have used uh, because I like these kind of molds with the long, oops, the long uh, strings because they are just perfect. Hello, Moika. Hello, ladies, for joining. So nice to see you. Please let me know if you have any questions. Hello, Deco. And see, they are perfect to have around your baubles. This is like all the way around, but this. I have like empty places. I will show you what we will do with them. But perfect. And I have used the regal trimmings and the elegant borders. And the beautiful, uh, you have like here, is it um, a bee perhaps? I believe so. And it comes from this gorgeous set. Uh, and it's in the name royalty and you look you have like bees and the bigger ones uh, and I think why not have like Christmas decoration or any decoration with a bee why not I believe we can have anything we like and uh, there are also smaller insects in the set that name regal findings so i love to use the molds and here you have crowns you could put crown here instead if you like but you see this insects also here if you like to have the smaller ones okay but i also you want to see you see her have one of the borders and here look what i have used I have used the, from the Fina Bears Mechanica mold this gorgeous one to add here. So why not? So to show that it doesn't need to be, it can be like gears and I, everything. But to show you this last one, this mold uh, with this round and the round one is Etrusian accent. And I have them on the top here, almost on the other ones all. I can show you, wow, you see, like you see here, in the end, we have the top here on the downside, and then I put like one of the pebbles. So something like this we will do. And I will show you during the process. It's okay, there are a lot of molds. And I love the molds, even if we have hard right now to do uh, here in Sweden to find the good resin. It's impossible for me right now. But anyway, and paper clay, I use a uh, dust clay or Creal and do and dry because I have somebody from Sweden ask me. So Creal, do and dry. That's what I'm using for paper clay. Uh, right now it can be difficult to find paper clay and resin here in Sweden. I, I don't know. So I will take a sip of coffee before I start. So what are you drinking people tonight or this morning or like that? Are you people okay? I'm so happy to see you. And let me know if you have any questions at all. I will show you. I was thinking because I want to do like a different uh, uh, table decoration with the bauble. Because this will not have to hang the hanger. And this I have prepped with uh, black heavy gesso. So I have painted this black. And I have added the border and I cut it in the middle. It's not perfectly the length, but I don't mind. And here I have that from the Mechanica uh, uh, 
Mechanica mold and I had glue everything with heavy body gel. And I did that many hours ago. Uh, this morning I did that, so it's take a little bit long time because this uh, ball, I'm afraid, perhaps it will change the shape if it's plastic or something, so I didn't want to heat it. And for this table decoration, I was thinking I have like a small pot to add it like that. And this will be my table decoration. Something totally different. Hello, Patricia. We are welcome. So nice of you to join. Okay, so this is like a small glass jar. Mila, welcome. Uh, and I'm thinking to add. So if I pick this one, so I'm thinking, okay, what we have more, we have like these empty metallic uh, boxes. Hello, Anna. And I added some string and added like that one. So what's happened if I put the bubble inside that? Yeah, one more. So we can have like a set. Mm -hmm. So what can you have more? You know, I like to have lights and here. I will, haven't, I will not do this, but to show you, I prepared one. I will have a bow here and perhaps some decoration in the middle, and then I will paint it. And perhaps to have like a, a bubble inside it or something else. I haven't decided, but to show you, and this is like an old uh, light. Hello, Jenny, welcome. So I'm thinking, use what you have. Even, you know, the kitchen items, I like to recycling. So if I take a bubble that I have made, we can do that and perhaps I pull it inside if I don't have the Christmas tree. And suddenly I have my decoration and I will have my set of three because I like the set of three. I see. So you can have it on the table and add your homemade. And when you do the down, uh, down on the top, because perhaps I will have three this year, but you never know. Because on my work, I'm so sorry, but we have people getting Corona. So I'm a little bit afraid. So perhaps I will not have my Christmas tree this year. I don't know. So perhaps I will use my bubbles in this way instead. But I think this could be very creative and you can paint it in any way you like. And afterwards you can have this on any way, different way. Okay, I think we start, we leave that. I love this bubble and we pull it inside. So use what you have and I love to recycle. So we will do something and they will be in more silvery color. We take the big one. The first thing what I want to do is to make it glossy. This is a matte finish. I have tried, I will show you here. I have made like two items and this is only painted with um, gesso, black heavy gesso. This one, it's a grounding. But you can see how it looks and I, I try to pull out of the camera and I hope you will see. I don't know how my camera will focus, but one it's matte and that one is glossy. It looks like it's not dry and these bubbles what I will make, I, will, I want to make them glossy. So I want to have glossy, luxury, silvery bubbles. So black gesso and we will make them glossy. So to make it glossy, I will have the liquid acrylic paint. This liquid paint, when it's dry, it dries glossy. So I have prepped it with uh, like that and I will do something. I will add a little bit black. I'm so scary because perhaps I will get get all over my table. So I have 
like black liquid acrylic paint and you see it's liquid and it's just gorgeous and now I will have my big bauble and I will paint it because it will be glossy and now I will have my bauble glossy because I want them to be like glossy a little bit luxury and not uh, not matte because I think that will be the perfect against the silver and the where I will have this big bubble I have already painted with uh, the liquid paint and it's a little bit uh, strange on the surface but that's with um, purpose I leave it like that I made like a trial and I wasn't really happy about it yeah do that yeah it will be shiny and glossy and you feel when you have painted this it feels like wow when you have when I was made this test I wasn't sure it was, was dry because it looked like a paint is still wet but on the bubbles it will be perfect it will be so perfect but if you like the matte finish of course of course you can leave them like that that's no problem but I was thinking it could be fun to make them a little bit glossy I will add a little bit texture on this I will do but we will do that uh, I will leave that for drying that's why I have like two projects going on at the same time because sometimes when you do like these bubbles I was doing a project some days ago and I was heat my bubble a little bit too much and it was melting so uh, that's why I have like two okay it's black and shiny I love it so we leave that for drying I will set it here so it can be dry by itself meanwhile it's drying we have this one and it's already prepped with the liquid and you can see this surface is glossy and this is matte and I'm and I see I haven't prepped it perfectly here so we add a little bit color like that so the heart has wings and this can be like a tag also if you do have a heart or something like that like a Christmas present tag or even like a decoration or sent to a friend yeah, it can be anything you want I want to tell you here we will add some decoration and I will paint them also here where I have the gaps I will paint something oops salsa oh my god always happens we leave that for dry again but I will do that so it can dry a little bit okay we have this and I want to add a little bit texture on this and uh, uh, and I want it to be shiny so I have this texture paste the graphite paste and it looks it looks yeah it's good to use some plastic but it dries really quickly this graphic paste perhaps it doesn't look so really great when it looks like black you see it's gray but when it's dry it gets black and shiny and it's your uh, exactly how I want here because we will keep it so today I will add a little bit like that between my fingers yes it's really great Anna and I will add like a little bit of thin color add 
not so much but anyway some oops some texture to my project a little bit it's really shiny and it's okay but this way we can add some texture pro to the project and um, and I will add it on the heart only not on the wings and I will have like only thin color like that and if I want more or if I want to paint over it or if I want to add glitter on it more I can do it but we will leave that for drying and I will paint the wings because I want the wings to be really really shiny so we will add a little bit of the paste on the bobble too I need to leave it that for dry so I leave that for drying and I want to make the wings really really shiny I will show you the effect Patricia, I see. I must see the comment. Okay. You can use the Patricia the uh, graphite paste on many different ways. Of course, you can use it on uh, on white also. Uh, I prefer it to use it on on black if I don't paint over it. But I use the graphite paste on white and paint over it and then I'm adding waxes and like that because it gives a great texture. I think it depends on your taste. So it, you can use it many ways. Do a small test. Look at this feather. I made a test and we will do the wings on this like this shiny. Yes, we will do them. Uh, so shiny and this one will dry and perhaps I think we will add like waxes on that when it's dry but we can work on the wings this is incredible I must show you a close-up of this wing I have tried like two different colors but we do this one so I did made a test before I try because I wasn't sure how I want but it's really silvery and shiny yeah thank you Anna for uh, answering she is the product designer of all these products so Anna can ask uh, answer all the answers you have on the products thank you Anna for giving the perfect answers and you hear me I don't speak so good English I do my best uh, to answer all your questions uh, here I have uh, the metallic acrylic paint or yeah and this is the uh, sparks it's really really shiny it's unicorns hair and it's really uh, so so sparky and I will show you and look it looks like it's a uh, gold greenish like something like that but we will make it this shiny on the wings and if you don't want to have it I only want to have it on the wings I mean I, I if you don't want it to have it on your surfer in the background you can add something but I don't mind if it comes on the background it's not a problem perhaps we will change it afterwards you never know when you create so I take of this unicorn's hair the sparks little bit and I will paint on the wings I like that not perfectly not at all and the unicorn hairs is really glittery but I will spray water on this with the spray bottle and I'm spraying I'm spraying really a lot and to leave it and to move around and there are like mica powder inside it so I'm tapping off the excess of water carefully and I will dry this and what's happened what I'm leaving here 
we're doing on the other side and we can hit it later on. So I'm taking the unicorn's hair, tapping on the wings like that, spraying water and it makes magic. Ooh, and I'm moving around so it go natural in the gaps and pulling off some of the water carefully and like that and look at the wings we will dry it a little bit then I'm tapping off the water like that and this texture is already dried up it's already dry. I will hit that because we'll do repeat that. So I'm heat drying the wings. And if they are water, I take the baby wipe, or if you have like paper towel or something, or a dry brush. But we will have the wings really, really shiny. So I'm hitting it like that. Yes, look, it already it's shiny, but we will repeat the process. But I need to dry it up, and it stays like that. So I'm doing, I'm repeating that, tapping on my wings like that, and I perhaps want a little bit more like that. Ah, we do a little bit here too on the. I think it's a bee. We do a little bit on the body. Okay. And I'm spraying. Moving around so it goes in the gaps. Yeah, it's a shiny, especially. It's very, it's like the mica powder. And look, I have repeated the process and it gets even shinier. Mm, exactly how I wanted it. Oh, I love it. I love shine. I love glitter. People who know me know that I love shine and glitter. This is so amazing, this unicorn's hair. And it's not so goldish glittery. It's more like white gold or something. But it's also very silvery. Okay, look how much shine we have on the wings. Just incredible. I will leave that for drying a bit, but how cool is that? It's just amazing. I love it. We we'll need that for drying a bit, but I love it. It's uh, exactly my taste. Black and silver and shine and glitter. So we leave that for drying a little bit and I need to take a sip of coffee. So do you have any questions? You can ask them and I try to answer them. Uh, we leave that for drying a little bit. Uh, and I will, and this is dry. But I'm thinking to show you, uh, 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 I have these Melange Art Pebbles. I love them. It's like, um, they have another name, but I use, say, Melange Art Pebbles. You can say something else about them. But I have shoes and I find three in the same size. And I want to add them here on my project, on my ball, to add like extra. So we will paint them. And I have decided them. I want to have them in silver. And I have like a small trick when I paint them. I have like... Uh, packaging and I have like foam tape and I play them on the foam tape so they stay in place like that so I can paint the back side of them and for this I will use the metallic silver spoon color it's a silvery color 
so hope I don't confuse you when I'm hopping from different projects but this metallic paint I'm tapping it up on my pebbles on the background and uh, you can do this to choose a different color but I want it silver but you can make them glittery or you can add the sparks anything you like or leave them like that it's okay also or you can paint over them so the small art melange pebbles they are have so many possibilities yeah this is really great they stay in place and I, you can use them many times when you have like foam tape you can i use this also when sometimes when i want to add perhaps if i have things like molds i can add them like that and they stay in place and they got a little bit height up so they don't glue in the packaging so if you need to paint something before you glue them they stay in place and you can use them several times and they stay so I have them and then I threw them away when they not sticking anymore so we can let's set that aside and um, see here you see one of the pebbles here on the top and I paint over it but we will do a little bit different on the other one okay we have these yeah what should I do with this I want to add a little bit of the uh, graphite paste on this too so I will add like do with my finger and brush like that and we leave that for drying and then we will work on the other one but I'm adding like a little bit of the graphite well, that's good that I could share my tip with you I think that works fine for me and I'm lucky and happy that I can use packaging on many different ways before I threw them away because you can agree we have so much packaging everything we buy comes in something packaging and it's good to have use of even them okay my bubble looks like that right now but perfect it will I will leave that for drying a little bit it dries really really fast and I get a little bit dirty on my finger but I really want it like a thin coat this time you can add even more layers if you like but I want them to have a little bit more delicate this time okay what about this I know what to do have you seen this gorgeous um, yeah small pieces from the molds without making for, for totally dirty yes so look at this B if you want to paint it perhaps in the color so Put it, pull it on there and I have like foam tape so it goes a little bit up and per, you can do it like more height if you like but this works for me uh, you can paint them and when they are dry they are not sticky to the packaging it's so easy to pull them off and you can use them several times so I love that idea okay where was I yes the white pearl I'm thinking we do white pearl on this project yeah we would do and I need to take some packaging again so I'm taking like this from my foot and I'm adding like the white pearl wax here so I can have and I will use my finger today sometimes I use brush but depends how you like so and you can pull it off 
but I'm using my hand because I want it to be like a nice coat, not too heavy coat. So I'm very gentle and doing some round movements. Uh, this is to get shine and I'm careful because you can do like more layers. This is like I want to see how much I want and I'm using my finger and it makes that it doesn't come so close to the composition but that's just how I want because I want to have more black around it so more whitish but this one on the black glossy surface it gets beautifully silvery so I get a little bit more on the tops and more close I having a more gentle so more white more far you come from so I'm using and I adding even on the edges a little bit of that wax see I'm going around yes and fingers are perfect even if sometimes you can use brushes but when you use fingers you can see how how hard you can push because you need to be really gentle so it doesn't get too much of the wax because then it can make like take too much attention on some and I only want to have like a thin coat and I will do that later on because it needs to dry oh hello Andre nice to see you and look I love it already hmm it look gorgeous silvery and very shiny and I love it I it's almost reminds me of rock and roll and that's what my intention was a little bit also it should be remind me of rock and roll black and silvery yes so that's why I was thinking you can give it perhaps to someone or something like that. Okay, what should I do with the wings? We had the metallic silver spoon, so why not use it for our wings? So I will see if I have like a brush. Here you could have, if you want, other color. I will be very careful. We do here with the silvery and I will only add like on the top a little bit very carefully and uh, here you can add if you have any favorite color to make a totally different color or to add it like that but I think I'm really happy with it we leave that for drying because my big bubble is dry mm -mm -mm, almost so I'm jumping back to the bubble here look perfect we will add something on this too mm -hmm. perhaps uh, yes perhaps we see if we take the graphite for that one it's a new wax the graphite so here it's like texture by mistake so I was deciding it to keep it and I don't want to add so much intention to this because the main focus will be my bubble who will be in the pot but while it's drying a little bit I will add like the graphite so I will add carefully and it's like the graphite from the pencils it's beautiful yes Anna asked if you have seen the wax and look it's gray it's like the pencil strokes you get when you have and I will add the graphite to only give it like a discreet graphite shine of and it I understand it's a little bit hard to see it by uh, through the screen uh, you need to try that in real life the graphite and then you can add like 
more shapes on it, but we start with the graphite and we see where it's going on. I haven't really planned exactly what I would do. I'm like that. I Sometimes it's hard to do plans. I like to go with the flow and see where it takes me. That works best. But sometimes when you have lives like this, uh, it's good to have a plan. But it's beautifully, beautifully great. And it's like texture by mistake. I was preparing something and I was like a mistake. And you can use that for pencils or anything you like. But right now it will be for my bubble. Okay. Do you have any questions, uh, people? Try. I will try to answer them. And I clean my hand a bit. And we wait for our more pebbles to dry. I will check them if they are dry. Not yet. We leave them. So, I believe this is dry. So, I love the white pearl, so we're doing the white pearl again. Yes, I love it. I'm in love. Can you be in love with products, mixed media products or waxes? What do you think? Oh, look, and I'm going very gentle, so I go over my bubble, like carefully. And I'm using my hand so I see how or feel how much I take. So we do like that. And I will have even more things on this. We are not finished yet. Like that. Silvery. And because I have the graphite paste it's like making the surface it makes more pattern and I like it yes we have favorites that's good Patricia and I'm adding here I will add some something else but you see it really pops okay we do like that good and you see how shiny and silvery it is it's absolutely amazing and they are so easy to use even if you are a beginner of four of course i can yeah i'm in love so it's perfect. I can be in love with these products and I'm at home and I can have my happy moments. I'm playing and have fun with my products. That's really cool, I think. We are lucky that we have this passion for crafting now when, when we need to stay at home. I think we are so blessed that we have this passion for crafting. Okay, I believe I want to glue my pebbles, so I will heat them dry a little bit. I will dry them a little bit, so I'm sure they are completely dry. And I'm low. Yeah, they start to get dry. And I will use heavy body gel to glue everything. This is very strong and it's really gel like, like jelly. And you take like a piece. Yeah, white pearl looks great. Yeah, thank you, Elizabeth. Thank you. 
yeah we try to create magic and I take the heavy body gel and I will glue it so they stay and add them to make and now I'm pulling it really hard and it go outside but on this right now it's okay it go outside I'm pulling it really hard and you see the heavy body gel go outside and I can take like a clean brush and brush it off but I will not do that I will show you why so I'm taking a blob like that boop and it doesn't matter if we have a little bit too much because I will do something with it okay and I pull it yes press and it go outside and I got a little bit too much on that one so I take a little bit of the gel and move it around yes because I want have something here around my pebbles yes I believe Elizabeth when I was doing the live stream on Monday I got the idea of black bubbles somebody on my live stream said something about black bubbles and I said wow I know what to do so I got my idea from when I was doing something else okay we have now we have now a little bit messy around my hair but that's exactly how I want will I will close this I have put up the heat in my craft room so I have really hot room yeah more you create more ideas you can get and I need to take something to drink okay I will pick I have a little bit of my 3d gloss gel here it's a, a gel and it's not so heavy like the heavy body gel it's more thin because I will add like a little bit more thinner coat I take something like this from the heavy uh, 3d gloss gel the 3d uh, gel comes in gloss and matte and I will add something so now I'm taking the gloss around my border pulling it around like that and I want to have a little bit more extra around my pebbles but I go around the border tapping on no perfection at all only tapping like that and going around tapping on the color or the, the gel so like that and you can do it a little bit piece by piece so I'm not doing it everywhere but like that okay now you're wondering what are she doing what is she doing look at these micro beads metallic micro beads and what of course we will have the silvery one yes so I will open this uh, packaging with the silvery and it comes in six different colors and uh, uh, this is my absolutely favorite these micro beads I have loved them from from the first time I ever saw them no it's like micro beads they are even smaller you have like black a little bit blue black and you have the silvery color in the micro beads we will use that but I can show you the other ones in the set they are like brown copper 
white gold and really goldy one. Now let's see if I can show you more close up. It's like small, small metallic beads. I hope you can see them and they are just incredible. Uh, you can add them like I will do, but you can also paint over them. Micro beads, just in love. And it's gorgeous that you have like this kind of set with different colors for your projects. And now I will have the silvery ones. I will carefully sprinkle them and I'm thinking to have something. Because I know I will sprinkle them a little bit everywhere. So I am sprinkle them like that because you said I said it will be silvery and black. And look, da da da. Yeah, I love it. And I'm adding look I'm sprinkling and making magic happen again yes and we will add here also and like I said and this is to make the pebbles like to have something around them and you see I am a little bit messy here I get the pebbles a little bit over my table here so you can have something if you do sprinkle them like me but you can also uh, add like a brush but I want them to come natural like this I sprinkle them on and make my they come natural and I try to keep them here in the gaps and or I can use, I get the idea, for the new year, black and silvery theme for Christmas uh, or New Year's dinner. Ah, uh, this was even better for New Year. Black and silvery. Uh-uh-uh. Yeah, we can do. And my bubble start to get finished. I will add something here, but I would like to see. But my bubble is pretty almost finished. But look, I love it. But you can use them in different ways. But I keep it there while it's drying. Yeah, it looks really strange, but I like it. It looks, I like to make testing things. On the top, you have like these uh, pebbles, uh, these art melange pebbles again, and they are diamond. And I, on the top, you need to have a diamond, of course. And before the live, I was, everything was go down on the, on the floor, but we need to have a diamond on the top. Of course, we need to have. So I pick one of the diamonds on the top and I can use the 3D glass gel to glue it. So the diamond on the top. Yes. Like that. And it can be uh, table decorations with a set, really different ways. Mm -mm -mm. I like it. I need to do. And like I said here, you can use uh, even packaging. I will not do this one, but I will do it for tomorrow and take cards on all my three because I like the set on three for like for the table and really different. I think I want to do something more on this. So guess what I want to do? We need to dry that a little bit. So I leave that for drying. And I want to add something more. So hope you stay with me for some minutes more. Uh, and we have this one and it's dry. I will add something on the top. Uh, 
see what we will have. Perhaps I will add the white gold or the vintage gold. I think I want to add a little bit of the gold here on the top. So white gold, metallic wax, because we want it to show a little bit. I don't mind mixing gold and silver and bronze, uh, not at all. So to make this show a little bit more, I will have a little bit gold on that one on the top. Yes. And when I'm watching the night right now, I need a little bit gold on the edge here and something here. Yes. Not too much on three places on the bee and on here and perhaps on the wing only to make the frame of three of my bee and uh, that one I finished is really glossy and like a little bit glamorous yeah I'm happy with that one and like I said that can be for decoration but also to give away or if you want to hang it in the tree or anything you like uh, you decide what you use a technique because the techniques you can use on any projects you like it doesn't need to be like a bobble that's only to show but okay we have these I want to have a little bit more um, little bit more extra shine and I wanted to go from here so back to the sparks on the top I want to have a little bit shine so we repeat and now so people who are coming late perhaps didn't see how I did my wings so the sparks dip it I don't need too much very little and I will add it like here on the top because I need to have something happening here on the top and I go around it a little bit carefully like that yeah and now it's goldish people haven't been all the way with me don't know what I will do yeah I will spray and carefully spray to make the Mika move around and flow because I want extra shine on the top so carefully carefully move a little bit and I have waxes here so it doesn't go everywhere but where it's not wax it will go so you need to think about that that it doesn't go everywhere but because I was carefully with my finger the mica powder and the color the flakes go where the wax haven't come so it makes the top really shiny i like it and you can repeat it if you want oh i love it yeah you can do this it's very very easy and you use what you have and I believe we need to add perhaps some more shine or I will add some ribbon or something on the down. I would take good photos for tomorrow and publish it here so you can see. And uh, I can promise you if it will be on uh, only that one or if I have some more. But you see my two projects are finished. And like I said in the beginning you can do like this and if you don't like this idea to use like a, a packaging of something or a glass jar that you paint because you can decorate them on some way and like this you can put them your baubles in something like this I have and I have put some light and um, my bubbles and uh, 
now I have really three one I put the last here what do you think and I have like that one and we have here so here are also my table decoration with some lighting in the bottom and you can have that on your dinner table or something and do it look so Christmassy? I don't know but it looks like um, fun and it's creative yes yeah, silver ribbon you can use but I haven't decided if I will have perhaps something I need to do that but I perhaps I need to think about it uh, so you can use the bubble if you want to have like more delicate setting on the table put them in the something but I think I will have that on a small table and put the lighting on and yes this was for me and look how gorgeous the sparks colors are now when they're getting to dry okay so hope I have given you some ideas what to do with your old baubles from something like this you can do like that and you can have them like a bubble hanging but try to use your imagination to have like setting for your table to make something so photos will come tomorrow and if you have any questions I can answer them for you and otherwise uh, say thank you for joining this live so happy that I could share this with you and uh, yeah, I, I will be back here someday but we have so many talented uh, Prima ambassadors and designers here uh, that you can watch lives uh, so many creative inspiration and I say thank you for watching and see you soon again bye bye thank you Elisabeth tack så mycket för att ni svenskor var med och tittade tack snälla och norska thank you